Good morning, you guys. Oh, okay. This is gonna be coming out after the video that I am gonna film, but it's gonna be pretty difficult to film. The reason that I went ahead and posted that video is because I cannot share with you what is going on in this garden without sharing the hard things in my life. Um, and it is a new season. It's a new chapter. And even though there are going to be some extremely difficult things that have to be done, it's time to do them. And I have a feeling that if I'm going through this, a lot of you are going through this or have been through this or are going to go through this. So today's video is not about anything negative. It's about positivity and moving forward and doing the hard things and <laughs> doing things that look like you should not do them, but you should. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys this disaster, tell you the plan. We're actually not going to film this part of it. I'm going to do a huge video on uh, a different section of the garden coming up, but today I am training my children in how to do hard things and I need to be focused with them. We are completely overhauling our lives and it's important for me to be super present with them. So I'm taking two minutes here while they finish up their chores um, and I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. I'm gonna show you the before and the after so that you have hope when I do what I have to do, which is going to be way more dramatic in the other part of the garden, you guys gonna be crazy okay so I'm gonna do a show off I mean you can kind of see it in the background I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and then we're gonna get right into it this looks bad it's actually this part's gonna be really easy um, or relatively easy we just have to pull these weeds out this bed was prepped and dug this was the kids' garden last year we have a few straggling uh, raspberries that are not great for this property so I'm gonna finish pulling those out and just take this section back up to the path. Um, I know you can't even tell that there's a path here. There is. It's graveled. I don't know what we're going to do about that yet, but it doesn't matter. For now, we're planting squash in this bed, so we've got to get it cleaned out. We're going to do that. That bed was prepped, not worked. It was rested last year. It has a few weeds in it, which will be easy. We're just going to rake them out. We'll move those high tunnels to over here, and we're going to plant potatoes in that section. That section had potatoes in it last year. It looks pretty rough because all of this wild lettuce, look at all this, this entire thing is wild lettuce. If I had more time, I would cover this up, kill the mulch, or use it as a green, like, living manure. Um, we might just turn it in, and I may still just cover it temporarily and try to do that because... The broccoli, cabbage, and kale, no, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower that we're putting in this bed this year, um, something happened with the trays and they just didn't really grow. So I've reseeded. Those will be coming in here and we might be able to finish that up. I'm going to also dig out that little patch of grass. We're going to finish that. It might look like it's not much, but I promise you it is a beast. We're going to get it out of here. Um, then... We are redoing these beds. So today we're going to clear the beds, clean them out, and if I have time, I'm going to plant them up with the perennials and make space because these beds are going to be holding as many of my perennials out of that wild garden as possible. So really, it looks like a giant disaster. Fortunately, this is not too bad. It's mostly just a little bit of weeds. We're pretty much going to be able to get most of them out with the rake. A lot of this stuff that's tall and dead is sunflowers from last year. We intentionally leave the garden like this. Um, not with the weeds. We intentionally leave the garden with all the tall stuff because we let the birds eat on the sunflower heads all through the winter and the seed pods. And we really like volunteers here, which is great. Um, however, we have something that we battle non-stop. And that's the creeping grass. So I have a battle plan. We are taking back this garden. 
I, it has been a place of pain for me, a place of honestly just completely giving up and it got so bad. I just didn't even know what to do. Um, all that whole area there, I have battled it and battled it and battled it with everything in me. And I really just got to this place of like, I forget about it. And so I left it for last year. So that's even worse this year. Um, believe it or not, that did not even look like that in the fall when we put the garden to bed. It was, there was really not much creeping grass in there. So that's just the winter growth when we had three feet of snow on the ground. That's what happens. So I'm going to just, you saw the before, I'm going to work with my kids. We're going to get this job done and I'm going to say we're going to get it done in one day. It is early in the morning. It's not hot. I'm going to have the kids working with me until lunchtime and then they're earning some screen time and some free time. We're take, we've decided that this year, man, you guys, we've just been in it. And I know you, you got that in the last video. If you haven't seen that, I highly encourage you to watch it. It's going to be a really difficult video for me to film. I'm saying that now because I haven't even filmed it yet. Um, I've been sitting on it for a long time. A long time you guys and I wasn't even going to share it and now seeing this garden the way it is I had to I have to share it so um anyway we're going to take a break from homeschooling for a couple months we're going to go ahead and start our summer break now and then that way we can come back into um, usually we actually pick up homeschool in July or August because it gets very hot here in the afternoons and rather than just be crabby with each other we go ahead and do school so um, I think that's going to be our plan. I'm praying for a fresh breath of air and excitement and something new that we can um, be able to just jump into it with new vigor. And um, honestly, I think that getting this garden squared away is going to help with that. And I want to teach these guys how to work hard and how to how to do really hard things do the things that don't look quite right do the things that go against the grain that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna focus on these guys they're obviously finished with their chores and uh they're excited to help out i think they're really just excited for screen time though <laughs> well guys we made the before lunch goal all right guys oh, man we busted our butts but i'm really excited because we got at least our morning's goal done. So beautiful flower bed, uh, mostly perennials there, a uh, few herbs. We're going to just pack that full. The squash tunnels are in place and we got that whole garden area done there. We still have to go through this back space right here and right behind the tunnels and pull out all of those raspberries. I decided not to add that to our morning list. I will, mostly because my mom and I will end up doing that part. And because I've realized we really don't have to work that hard and we don't have to pull it up. So we're just gonna pull up what we want to. Then we're gonna cardboard the rest of that and mulch that out. Um, and then that, that way we just don't have to work so hard. So bed number one is finished. Bed number two is completely finished and looks amazing. So um, I do need to go through the daffodils at the end of the path, but that's gonna take a long time because it's gotta be really meticulous. But not only did we get this bed done, we also got the potatoes planted. So that is awesome. This bed, we also finished, except for the grass at the end because that is a ton of work. If we're getting sunburned. We actually need to get back in the house and it's time for lunch. That is not really something that the kids can do anyway. Um, hang on, I'll grab that from you. Um, but we got it done. So I think I'm actually going to put the black tarp over it because I really, really don't want to lose it again. That'll just make our life a lot easier. So that is the next goal. That area, uh, it looks worse than it is. Fortunately, it's not going to be that bad. Um, we did it. If you guys are excited about how to overhaul a very big problem with uh, Back to Eden, take back a garden, um, you're dealing with things that are just completely overrun, um, stay tuned. That video is going to be coming out. Um, I, I want to film the entire part, the whole, the whole thing for you guys, whether it's time lapsed, whatever. So just stay tuned. It's going to be coming to this channel. It's going to be coming sometime between now and the summer. 
uh, because we're going to get this done before the fall. You guys, that's what's going to happen. So, um, just, just hang tight. I'm kind of consulting with a few of my garden friends, people who also run back to Eden garden and, um, and, uh, we've kind of come up with a game plan a little bit. I'm still working out the complete details, but you know, what is the most exciting thing is that this garden has been one way for such a long time. And it's about to be a completely different space. And I cannot wait. So stay tuned. Hang tight. We're going to have lots of videos coming out before then on lots of different garden stuff, homesteading things, of course. Um, but that's going to be being filmed and being worked on. I might keep it a secret and kind of hide it a little bit in my videos so I can do a big reveal and a big start to finish. Maybe it's going to have different parts to it, but hang tight. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much um, for <laughs> sticking with me while I do my best to fail at all the things in the garden, you know, cause you can't learn if you don't fail. Keep on learning and grow. I'll see you in the next one.